Hey guys, oh my gosh, I have some very exciting Canva news to share with you that this was a very unplanned video because I could not wait to share this news. I mean, I like barely smeared some makeup across my face and kind of brushed my hair. Um, but I, I couldn't waste any time. Hey there, I'm Kate Danielle, a Canva certified creative and graphic designer. So let me just, let me just share these two updates that I, I just learned about, um, but that they are out to all users. It has to do with drop shadows and what they're calling frames, which this is different than the frames and elements. These are more like mock-up frames. So I barely even have played around with them. So let's jump on to Canva. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get right to it so you can see this awesomeness for yourself. Okay, so I am here in a Canva design. You can open up any design size that you're working on and I have just dropped in the first picture I've had here. So if you come up to the effects tab, uh, you can see if you scroll down, and it may look a little different on my regular account. This was kind of in two columns, but you're looking for at first shadows and then frames. Uh, you're going to click on one and click connect. And then it's going to add it there. And you do the same thing with frames. And now you can see we have these new features added into our effects panel. So first, let's look at the shadows. You have all of these, and we can actually click on see all and see them a little bit better. And I really have not played around with them. So that's the glow, and after you apply, like after you click on it, you can click again and get some adjustments. And then when you're done, you click apply, or you can click cancel. They have the regular drop shadow, an angle, curved that would be good that makes it kind of look natural like if this was a printed photo they kind of create a curved shadow and uh, page lift backdrop this is also cool because if let's see let's try this let's try let's try maybe this might be too busy we can take the back, use the background remover, which again, that's only a pro feature. So let me pop over to my pro account. So if you're on pro, you can do the background remover. And then once you're finished with that, of course you can erase or restore you, but you can go back or click off of it and then click edit again. And you're back to this main menu and you can do your shadows. kind of like this backdrop shadow, especially on these cutout images. And then I can click again and sort of adjust what this looks like, play around with the transparency. The higher the number, the more transparent it is. And then of course you have your different horizontal angles here. You can actually change the color of the photo, of the shadow, I mean. So that is super exciting. Right now it only works on images. So um, for example, when I first popped in here to test it out, I was trying to do it on, on this, but this is an image in one of the standard frames, <clears throat> excuse me, and it doesn't work. So a workaround would be if you're on Canva Pro and you wanted a shadow behind this circle picture, download it as a transparent PNG and then re-upload it. Because um, it only works on just plain uh, photo files. But also you could do that with anything. So this is like one of my graphics that I've created, but it's an SVG. But if I wanted a shadow on that, I would have to do the same thing. Once I got it to the color I wanted it, I would have to download it as a transparent PNG and re-upload it, and then you should be able to apply a shadow. I don't know that I have anything like that that are PNGs uploaded, and I could use one of these little graphic 
graphics. I got these out of a kit. I didn't design that. But you can see that is a PNG graphic, and I have the option to add shadows. Of course, it's running a little slow right now. So that is super cool. Let's hop, hop back to the free version. The other exciting thing, like I mentioned, is these frames. And at first I thought they were talking about just decorative borders like these, which that could be kind of fun. Those are actually really cute, some of these. But also, I got really excited about how easy it is to make these mock-ups. Again, they're still straight on mock-ups. If you want to do anything at an angle or have like a laptop setting on a, a desk, and you need to check out Smart Mock-ups, which is a, an additional tool outside of Canva. But this is kind of new too, that it's pulled in right here. Um, that is exciting. But that is a... Uh, that's actually a third update. This used to take you out to Smart Mockups website. So this is actually super fun. It just pops your design, your photo right in there. So it looks like they have some of their free ones right here in Canva to do other mockups and cards and um, super cool. Of course you wouldn't use that random graphic, but all kinds of mockups to work with. Oh, it actually <laughs> kind of made a cute little frame, and then if you double click, I guess what's, oh, it changes the color of the picture, fit, custom, let's see if you can, oh, this is awesome, you guys. So, I will do some more videos on these. Um, right now I'm just kind of playing around, but again, so just to recap, we've actually looked at three fun updates, shadows, frames, and the smart mock-ups edition. So play around with these. Let me know what questions you have. And as I dig deeper in them, I will record some videos of each of these separately because they are super awesome. Okay guys. Let me know in the comments how excited you are about these updates and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up with all the latest Canva news and um, business tips and graphic design tips. In the meantime, think like a boss, play like a mom. Cheers!